Assalamu alaikum and welcome to another video. This is Mohammed Bakri from Community of Babel. Today we are going to learn the passive voice in Egyptian Arabic. Uh, in the past tense, uh, for a, a, a simple three letter verb like kataba, it will be it katab. So we add it to the root of the verb. So it kata. Uh, if it's feminine, like kata bit, she wrote. So it kata bit. Okay. Uh, for example, Howa kata it does. Howa he kata it does. He wrote the lesson. It does. It kata. So it does. It kata. Uh, another example with a feminine uh, object. هو uh, Another example with a feminine object is هو كتب الرواية هو كتب الرواية رواية this is novel he wrote the novel uh, the passive is الرواية the novel it كتبت was written Another example with a three letter verb is درس so, uh, to study, so, هو درس إنجليزي هو درس إنجليزي, he studied English الإنجليزي it درس it درس so, it plus درس another example with a feminine object is he studied mathematics, for example هو درس الرياضة هو درس الرياضة أو الرياضيات, if you want so, الرياضة it درست الرياضة it درست was studied uh, another verb that's not a three letter verb is جرّة it's a four letter verb, verb because we have شدة here so the R is double so جرّة to experiment to uh, try something to try out uh, so جرّة it جرّة uh, مثلا هو جرب العربية. He uh, like uh, tried out the car or he tested the car. هو جرب uh, العربية. عربية car. So هو جرب العربية. So العربية the car. It جربت because it's feminine. So it جربت. Okay. أو هو جرب الساندويتش. هو Garrab is sandwich. He tried out or he tried the, the sandwich. Is sandwich. It garrab is sandwich. It garrab. Uh, for longer verbs like is tahdim, uh, is tahdim he used. Uh, we stick to the, 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 the passive voice form from uh, standard Arabic. If you're familiar with the standard Arabic, if not, it's is tahdim. It will be is tohdim. So the ta here, any verb that starts with ista, like istahdim, istamil, and so on. So istahdim will be is tohdim. So, so we will remove here the fatha from the ta, and it will be dhamma. So is tohdim. Okay. In the present tense, is for example, yiktib, he writes, it's yit ketib. So instead of it in the past, to be yet ketib. And the feminine is tit ketib. To, uh, it, she is, or she or it is be uh, written. Howa be yektib it dars. Howa yektib it dars. Of course, we add the be if you remember. So howa be yektib it dars. The passive voice is it dars. Be it ketib. Be uh, yit ketib. So yit ketib. And the be will be added to both of them. Another example with the same verb that we used before is daras. Howa biedris in Gilizi. He studies English. Or he is studying English. Howa biedris in Gilizi. So it's ilingilizi bi bi yit deris. Ingilizi bi yit deris. Another example with 
a three letter verb is عمل يعمل so to do to make هو بيعمل شاي he makes tea هو بيعمل شاي الشاي بيت عمل that's correct بيت عمل uh, for a four letter verb like a four letter verb like this جرب the present tense is يجرب he uh, tries out he experiments هو بيجرب uh, for example هو بيجرب العربية will be العربية ب بتتجرب so بتتجرب so with ت because it's feminine العربية بتتجرب okay uh, for a longer verb like استخدم in the present will be يستخدم so the form will be different because we will uh, stick to standard Arabic here and it will be يستخدم so the يستخدم the ي will be it will have we will put ضمة on the ي so يستخدم and we will put فتحة on the letter before the last one but this one this, uh, these verbs are not uh, are not commonly used in the passive uh, voice so this form is the most uh, common one. So that's all for today. I hope this video has been clear and useful to you. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.